Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'll be unboxing the 5700 XT. I've got a Radeon RX Sapphire Pulse that I ordered and I got like I've uh, I've just ordered it. I appreciate that the 600 series is coming out. Uh, I got a really good deal on it and I was uh, super wrapped that I got it super early. It was due to come like a week from now you know and i got it out of nowhere today is a sunday and somehow i've got a delivery and i got so excited that i actually broke the seal so anyways without further ado let's get the unboxing kind of well it's, it isn't an unboxing because i haven't opened the box up so that's the box okay pretty straightforward nothing special there they had a sticker that i took off with my name and stuff so that was a bit annoying to see it's, it's left a bit of residue on it which i wasn't too happy about but let's get the unboxing underway so inside you've got a cardboard box which i'll try and pull out without stuffing the box up all right now that's out Alrighty, so that's a pretty decent box, I think. Uh, it's got padding everywhere, obviously, because it's electronics. Don't want to get it damaged on the way here. You've got some warranty stuff. Okay, so this will be going into... If I'll include the link, by the way, for the eGPU Razer Core that I unboxed, Razer Core X. The second v2 so the second version of it so this will be going in that and i'll be doing massive tests with this onto my 16 inch macbook pro on the 13 inch macbook pro and really excited on apple's new one more thing event that's going to happen on the 10th of november which will be the like kind of 11th because it'll be like 2 a.m or 3 a.m in the morning in australia so it'll be really good to see what because there's a lot of rumors that Apple would be uh, giving the 13-inch MacBook Pro a do-over. It might be a 14.1 inch with an Apple soft chip in it. So I'll be either, if they do that, I'll be either testing that with this GPU or I'll be using the, uh, I'll be using a 13-inch uh, i7, the higher end i7, because there's two i7s. One's at 1.7 gigahertz and one's at 2.3 or 4 gigahertz. I believe it's 3 gigahertz i7 in there, which is a quad core. And I'll be putting that up against the i9, the 2.3 gigahertz, not 2.41. Uh, with the eGPU, I'll be also peer, uh, putting this up against the last year's i7. Uh, I mean i5, uh, I mean iMac uh, with the i9 uh, ninth gen processor. And I'll be also getting all those t tests done against my super beast of a uh, iMac with the 5700 XT 16 gigs. So I'll see, obviously I'm going to tell you guys straight off, that beast has 16 gigs. It's directly connected to the logic board. So it'll be a lot better than a eGPU setup. You know where it's going through the external stuff and things like that by the time it's going through that wire of just 20 gigahertz whereas when you've got it through pcie express you get 128 or 26 gigahertz obviously it'll be a lot quicker through that but i'll see like in gaming and um, uh, productivity tests whether that justifies it you know because this card only costs me cost me about five nearly 600 bucks you know what i mean with the eGPU setup the good thing with the eGPU you obviously can tell is you can obviously swap this card around when you're done with it you know what i mean whereas the iMac you're stuck with it so anyways i'll be doing all those tests comparing everything like if you can get last year's iMac with the i9 because this iMac is very much power beyond the iMac i've got all the reviews done as well i'll link my full review of the my iMac as well at the end of this video but yeah let's without further ado and getting too much off track let's get into it okay let's get that box out of the way so it's got in got it in here wow it's looking 
it's not too heavy either it's pretty good look at that guys all right so it's got the fans there it's got the stickers here you know everywhere it's got the chip there look at that it's a beautiful beautiful piece of hardware there machinery you know that's the brains and all of this is just to keep it cool okay it's got uh, hdmi hdmi display port as well okay that's the chip that's the back nice solid metal feel okay all right so yeah i'll be like testing those and seeing where what's worth it because I've got a funny feeling that if you want portability and power at the same time, I'm thinking like I'm really interested how the 13 inch MacBook Pro would pull up with the eGPU hooked up, such a strong eGPU. E and like for gaming, what and productivity, like, like I wouldn't care if it's like five minutes slower in rendering my videos or like even 10 minutes slower, you know? Uh, when it's connected to the eGPU, I wouldn't really care. Like, because of the 13 inch is such a versatile, easy to carry around a laptop, it's 13 inch, it's very light, and things like that. It's, it's, I would say it's more versatile than the 16 inch, which has the internal uh, DGPU. So, I've got the, uh, the MacBook Pro that I'll be testing is the 16 inch, it's got the uh, 2.3 gigahertz i9 in there and it's also got a dgpu the 5500m with four gigs only okay so that'll be going up against this eight gigs and like i'll be using boot camp drivers as well to kind of use both the dgpu the igpu and the egpu all together on that 16 inch and going up against the imac and how it goes i have a gut feeling the iMac might be really good at productivity um but let's see okay all right well that's the unboxing that's the beautiful pulse there for you guys okay and uh yeah drop me a like and things like that please and uh yeah stay tuned for my full tests thank you for watching bye bye okay guys thanks for watching that video i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you aren't subscribed please do subscribe give it a like and follow us on patreon as well and support us to see more content thank you bye